Hi there, my name is Ben Halsell and in this tutorial I want to run through how to make a quick backup of your project in Final Cut Pro 10. So this is assuming that you've made a backup of all your project files um, and really what we're doing is looking at how we back up the timelines in Final Cut Pro. So what we're looking at creating is a small file that you can upload to Google Drive or to another file sharing site like Dropbox or something like that. Okay, so let's get on and jump into Final Cut Pro and have a look at what we're doing here. So this assumes that you have all your original media backed up. So in this case, um, we're talking about my video clips. So I have a few video clips and then some screenshots and a bit of audio. Those are all backed up already, but I've been working on my projects since then and I wanna make a, a smaller backup of the timelines that I've edited that I can just upload to the web. So one of the ways that I've often quickly saved a project for myself is by emailing it to myself or by dragging and dropping it to a Google Doc. So the scenario here is that you've got your project on a laptop, you're working on the train or on a plane, you're traveling, and you really just need to export out those timelines you've been working on, but you don't have the disk space to export out and make a complete duplicate of the entire project, including all the original clips. So what we're looking at here is just making a backup of those timelines. So the way that we do that is by clicking on each of these projects or timelines that I have up here. Okay, so you can see my list of projects. And basically I've held down shift to select them all. I can use the command key to, to deselect certain projects. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and make a, a duplicate of these. And the way that I do that is by going to file, copy projects to library, and I'm gonna make a brand new library, okay? And this library I'm gonna drop onto my, my desktop. Okay, so this is gonna be called tutorial backup. I'm gonna hit save. And now it's gonna ask me if I wanna copy any optimized media or proxy media to that new project. I wanna keep the size of this file down so I don't wanna copy any of those files at all because I'm gonna upload it to Google Docs in a minute. Okay, so now that I've clicked okay, with those unchecked. Basically, Final Cut is making a copy of all my timelines. So that's all the edits I've made as I've been working on these projects, which is great because I've got my backup of the original media all set up. So I don't need to, to back those up right now. So now we're looking at the brand new copy of the project and we can see that I have a copy of all the files here. And this is what I'm gonna upload to Google Drive. And it's showing me the clips because they're still referenced in my project, but they're not backed up into the, the file itself, okay? So if we, grab a look at this. And there's a couple of ways that we can actually get to this. We can navigate to the desktop, or often I'm not saving stuff to the desktop, I'm saving it to a folder. So I'll often right click on the library up here and go to reveal in finder, which is a really nice way of jumping straight to that file, okay? So I've got my, my backup folder, and if I just go to file and get info or command and I, then I can see that this project file with nine or 10 edits I had, they're not really complex edits, but they're nine or 10 edits there. And basically all of those are 42 megabytes, which is, if you've got a decent internet connection, it's not something that's too big to, to drop onto Google Drive as it's now known. Okay, so that's exactly what we're gonna do now. We're gonna take this library folder, jump to Google Drive, and then drag this over. So now I've made a backup of all of those timelines that I can download, then I can get those project files back and reconnect it to the original media. I think it's worth just re-emphasizing that, that this is a backup just of the timelines, not of the media as well. So you do need to have a main backup as well, a backup of your original media. So the video files, the audio files, that original media that you, you brought into Final Cut Pro in the first place. But also we have this separate set of files that we're working with here that is really just the, the timelines from that project. But we can always relink those two things together as long as we've got backups of both of those. So that's a real quick way of uh, getting a backup of your timelines. I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions about Final Cut Pro 10, then please check out my other tutorials or send me a tweet at Ben Hassel, and I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.